my beautiful Martians. Welcome back to Planet Samantha, also known as my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. On Planet Samantha, I like to do adventure vlogs, cooking vlogs, anything makeup related, hauls, reviews, and how to's. So if those are your kind of videos, then you're in the right place. I do a little bit of everything here on my channel. I guess you can just call me a jack of all trades. And I hope you would please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell because then you will be one of the first people that gets notified as soon as I upload a video. And who wouldn't want that? I think that's a great idea. <laughs> so I actually forgot to mention something else that I've been doing that's been keeping me super, super busy. I've been advertising for a few different companies and little businesses. I offered to make them a flyer. Why not be able to give back, but they can give back to me. I said, if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, I will make you a custom flyer that fits your business colors, your themes, use your logos, whatever. And I will advertise for you for one whole month on my Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. And some of them actually created some kind of sale for that one month that I was advertising for them. For example, one of them, she said, how about I do buy two, get one free? I said, okay, that's perfect. I can put that on the fly. And of course I showed them the flyer first before I posted it so they could say, yeah, I like it or no, can you change this, tweak that? And it's a way for me to give back to them, advertise for them, get their name out there, and then they subscribe to my YouTube channel. I think that's a pretty great idea. So I'm gonna pop in the picture of the three flyers that I've made so far. I'm working on some right now, but those are gonna be for July. I don't wanna get too off topic from this video, but I do wanna give a little shout out to one of my friends. Her name is Brittany Sims and she is the owner of Busy Bee Novelties. Her link to her Etsy page is in the description box. So please go check her out and see all the awesome custom things that she made. So she subscribed to my channel and I made her a flyer. She actually made my own personal promo code so everyone could get 20% off their entire purchase. So I thought that was pretty cool. Not only did she do that, but she offered to make me a shirt with my logo on it for free. Um, yes, please. I can wear it in my videos. I can wear it out and about. I can be like a walking advertisement. I definitely took up that opportunity. But I said, what can I do again to give back again? Because she's offering to make me this shirt for free. So I showed Danny the shirt and he was like, wow, that's really, really cool. Can I have one? I just want to do like a little unboxing of these first before I get into my big haul. You know me, I'm all about packaging and what it looks like and the little details and little added things in there. I'm all about it. I'm a packaging snob. So the first thing I noticed, Busy Bee Novelties, so abbreviation is BBN. Who doesn't love a koozie? I don't drink and neither does Danny, but there's cans of soda and you can get root beer in a bottle. This will definitely come in handy and this will definitely be used. Side note, little trick of what I do. I put my koozies in the freezer and I don't know if anyone else does this, but I put them in the freezer so when I'm ready to use them, not only does it keep the drink cold, but this itself is cold too. There's two little things in here. One is her business card. Don't mind my nails, I'm getting them done this weekend. <laughs> it's a little t-shirt and it says, washing instructions. It's in the shape of a shirt. How cute is that? I honestly want to keep it because it's so cute. Oh my god, I love it. So it has my logo. Look at the back! All of my social handles. That makes me so happy. I love it. <sighs> and black is just the perfect color. I think I've maybe worn pink once. And I've worn black in all of my videos, but it just, I don't know. I like to be like cohesive. I don't want to wear some crazy ass color in all my videos. I just want to have a pretty background and a solid black shirt. I'm going to have more made so I can send them to my mom, my dad, friends. I'll get these for gifts. A purple koozie. I like this one. Business card and instructions. You know what I love about her shirts? They are so soft. You know how sometimes you get shirts at like Walmart or honestly I don't buy shirts at Walmart, but like Amazon and they're rough and they feel hard and no matter how many times you wash them, they feel rough 
and just scratchy and I don't like that. This is so soft. Oh my God. This makes me really happy. Thank you so much, Brittany. I'm super, super happy with it. Can't wait to wear it and take pictures with everyone. It. Go look in the description box. Check out her Etsy page. Check out her Instagram and her Facebook and join her groups and tell her I sent you. <laughs> the moment we've all been waiting for my Jeffree Star haul since being on quarantine and somewhat on lockdown I have went a little crazy Jeffree Star has had quite a few launches since all of this has happened and me being a collector and some of the items being limited edition I had to get it so I have four boxes filled with lots of things and I'm just basically gonna open it and show you everything. I have not touched a single thing. I haven't swatched anything because per the usual, I always wait for you guys. And let me tell you, it's been hard to not touch it or play with any of it. <sighs> so the first launch he had was on 420. It wasn't necessarily a 420 themed launch. It was, but it wasn't. Everyone thought he was gonna make a 420 palette and he didn't, but he did make a couple different like 420 things. First box has the Bloodlust crown tape. I have to say that I love that he has his own tissue paper. <laughs> when he had the 420 launch, I ordered three separate orders because I wanted to make sure that I got the other thing that I'll show you in a minute. So the first thing I got, I'm so excited because I have been wanting this for a while and I tried getting it during the last two launches and I couldn't get it because it, it was sold out in like seconds. And it is the five year anniversary edition lip bundle. His liquid lipsticks are literally the best. I'm so excited because I have been wanting that green for so long. I have so many looks and ideas that I can use that green for. And then of course you have the everyday pink, nude, and then a red. Obviously there's that bright white in there and you're probably like, are you gonna put white on your lips? Here's the best thing about these liquid lips. They are safe for your eyes. Not only do I have five lipsticks, but I also have five eyeliners. So I was like, well, I don't know if I'll wear the white on my lips. Maybe I might be able to rock it with some like crazy look. Naturally, I'm leaning towards using it for just like an eyeliner. I will read the names. The white one is Drug Lord, Doll Parts, Androgyny, Mistletoe, and Ho Ho Ho. But ho, like you a ho. I will admit that I actually own zero articles of his clothing. I don't own any of the purses or hats or anything like that and I've always wanted to. This is my very first article of clothing and I couldn't be more excited that this is the first piece. It is a hoodie, which you can't go wrong with hoodies, especially a black one. And on the front, it has his logo. But if you look real close, you'll see what it is. Obviously, it's some kind of a leaf, I think. And then on the back, funny story, actually. I'll show you first and then I'll tell you. It's like a tie-dye kind of look. Some of his prior clothing and accessories says, Hi, comma, how are ya? Just H-I. When I was purchasing this, and I thought it said, hi, how are ya? But I thought it said H-I-G-H, -H, how are ya? I didn't realize until I viewed my order when it was on the way here that it actually says, how high are ya? <laughs> I still love it though. So the next thing is, again, also from his 420 launch, pink. It has the same crown tape. <laughs> Look at this tissue paper. I didn't get a card in the first box and I don't think I got one in the second box, but that's that's okay. I really don't mind. And this box was just two things. The first, lipstick holders. Because as you know, or most of you know, he has his own custom liquid lipstick holders. He has a solid, plain, boring looking white one. And then he has these. It's a two pack and they're 
fairly inexpensive, honestly. And I said that once I collect all of his palettes, where, which I am damn near almost done, I'm gonna start collecting all of his liquid lipsticks, even if I don't use all of them. I just want them because I'm a collector. With my OCD, I have my lipsticks that I have now already in like little things kind of like this, but just clear. So I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna put all of my Jeffree Star ones together on here by themselves. Like, I don't wanna mix my Jeffree Star ones in with all my other ones, you know what I mean? Look how sparkly this is. And it's pink. It's so pretty. They're just simple boxes. And they match my office because the curtains I have on my window are literally like this color pink. They're not sparkly, but they're the exact same color. And all of his liquid lipsticks will go in here. I will have to buy a couple more because he has a ton of liquid lipsticks. Another thing I've never had or used of his is his lip scrubs. And I've always wanted to try them because they're basically candy. They are edible lip scrubs. So I got one. I got Blue Raspberry Sucker. I'm gonna literally open it right now and I'm gonna eat some. <laughs> he has posted on his Twitter, just eating some of my lip scrub for a snack or something. And I was like, yeah, right. But then I watched a YouTube video and it is legit edible. But obviously it also says, do not substitute this product for a meal, obviously. I have bought a lot of lip scrubs over the years and they're usually this tiny little, little, little jar. This is big. Look how big that is. Open it for the first time. Oh, yes. Oh my God, so good. It's blue and it's yummy. Brown sugar cinnamon, the best one. I do like toasting them and the, the edges are my favorite part. You can't beat just a plain old pop tart. There are three things in this box. The first one, when I opened it, I did take it out and I gave it to Danny because I got it for him. I don't know if I should show it. Basically, it is a 63 millimeter green grinder with the Jeffree Star logo, of course. If you wanna see what those look like, hop on to Jeffree Star's website and check them out for yourself. This one came with the Bloodlust card pink bubble wrap. Similar tissue paper, but it's different. It's not white. Isn't that awesome? Another thing that I have never had of Jeffree Star's is one of his mirrors. I have always wanted to get a mirror. I told myself when I get one, I'm gonna buy the very first one that he ever made, the pink one. Once I saw these on his 420 launch, I was like, oh, I gotta get one of these. So the next time I order a mirror, I will get the very, very first one. I have a friend that actually collects them and she has every single one, even the limited edition, even the ones that were exclusive to another country that you can't even get in the US. And she has them hanging up and it just looks so dope. Amazing, the green chrome. I have read before people that say, Oh, they're cheap made, it's so lightweight, but they're made for YouTubers, for people that vlog and people that make videos. You can literally hold it for a long time and your wrist doesn't start hurting. I know that sounds silly, but when I did that bloodlust look and I was holding his palette, it got tiring and it hurt my hands after a while. I definitely want to get some hooks, some like commander strip hooks and put them up there so I can hook it on the wall. That's a really good idea, I should do that. I actually went to the store the other day and I was gonna get the commander hook strips and I was like, no, I don't need them. I knew I should have got them. The best for last from the 420 launch. <sighs> I'm so excited, I've been wanting this for so long. The Mother Conspiracy Palette. Oh, I love the packaging so much. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I have been wanting to play with this and do a look and I haven't been able to because I had a way to film this. So now, ha, oh, 
Now I can use it. Some people say they don't like it because it's so wild and weird with the colors, but that is what I like about it. And before I buy a palette, I always, always look at it. I look at the colors and I go back and forth and up and down, basically just envisioning looks that I can create. And I can see so many and so much potential with this palette. And oh, I just can't wait. Before I open this, I just want to say, if you do not like him, I don't care. If you don't like that I like him, I don't care. I do not want your negativity in the comment box, although you are free to whatever you want to say. Okay, thanks. So amazing. So for those of you that don't know, this is a collab that Jeffree Star did with Shane Dawson, SD. And if you don't know who he is, where do you live? Under a rock? He is literally like the king of YouTube. Oh, I love it. And then there was one. And if you can see, it's a black box. It has his logo on it. And what's that? Oh, is that an urn? Is this the cremated palette? It's not just that though. I got some other things too. I got two cards in here, which is pretty cool. Another thing that I have never got of Jeffrey's are the makeup bags and the travel bags. I've always, always wanted one. There are so many that he makes and I just wish I could buy them all, but that's not realistic. So I got a travel bag and it is the cremated black marble. It is way bigger than I thought, which makes me really happy because when I travel, I bring a lot of makeup and a lot of hair things and just a lot of bathroom, toiletries, whatever. And this will literally fit all of it. It has the gray label. I have been obsessed with marble for as long as I can remember. Ever since I was a kid, I literally have a marble wallpaper on my iPhone right now. And it has his logo as the zippers, which of course they have the plastic on them. And I will be taking that off because I will be using this. And I just, I don't like the looks of leaving plastic on. Look how big that is. That's what she said. <laughs> Hi. I could literally fit, I think, blue blood and conspiracy. It has a zipper, easy to open. It's mesh, so you can see inside. Also can fit quite a bit of stuff right here. And then it has these little elastic little pouches. That's how big it is. Do you see how big this is? That's big. I wish I could wear this as a purse. Like literally, you know how some people have those big bulky square like purses. I could use it as like a clutch, but like a little purse and just carry it like this. I feel like people would be like, why are you using a lunch pail <laughs> as your purse? I just love it. Hey, did I tell you guys that I love it? I don't know if I said that yet. You know what's funny is in this box, I got the cremated card, but I also got the conspiracy card. I think they meant to put it in the other one. I don't know. I don't really care, but I'm glad I got it. Definitely keeping them. Almost done, got two more things. One of the glosses, which is literally made with like diamonds. I'm just kidding, but it's just so sparkly and pretty and I can't find anybody else that makes a lip gloss like this. Of course, it's got the marble because it is from the cremated line. The shade that I got is called Funeral Parlor. Love the name. And I'll show you what it looks like. Oh. It's like silver gray. I just got a text that a package was delivered. I'll show you what it looks like. It won't match my look because I have like a bronzy orange eye look, but. It has shimmers of gray and silver and blue. I'm getting like 90s vibes a little bit, but I love it. And last one. Wow, look at my lips. 
I should have got all of the glosses because all of them look so pretty and very unique in their own way. Dun, dun, dun. Drum roll. <laughs> it's literally 24 shades of gray. A lot of people have said, oh, a lot of companies have done this before. and They had like a smoky kind of black and gray palette, but maybe so. But are there formulas like his? Probably not. Look at there's a halo on the back. Everyone says the the little uh, symbol next to his logo on the back of the palettes is a sign of what's going to be next. I don't know if that's true, but it's a halo. Lipstick Nick, who is talented and so amazing at makeup, literally did this on him and there is a video on YouTube if you don't believe me. I bet you didn't think there was that many grays. There's the black and there's the gray and then there's the green gray and the blue gray and the purple gray and the silver gray and then all of these light ones. You could use this on a bride if you're a makeup artist. I just blotted my lips and look at that. It still looks so pretty. All right, well, that's a wrap. <laughs> my package just delivered a little bit ago and it's not at the front door, it's in the mailbox. So it is now my cue to go. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed watching this. If you have any questions on any of the products, just pop your comments, questions, concerns in the comment box. Don't forget to read the description box with all of my social handles, my promo codes, and my friend's Etsy shop. I hope you enjoyed the video. I love you all so much. I appreciate all of my 93 subscribers. You guys mean the world to me. I have quite a few videos lined up and I'm really excited. I might do the rest today when I get done work. I don't know, but it is now 10 o'clock. I need to go. I have 30 minutes, but I need coffee. <laughs> Clearly I don't eat coffee. I will see you in my next video.